What's up guys, Agent Android here and welcome to Reign of Kings. One of the newest, most awesome games that have recently come out on March 11th, I believe. And so far I've been enjoying it for the past three days now. It has been an awesome game so far. Uh, as you can see, I've got this little makeshift shelter going, but this is not what I want to do. I want to build an epic fortress like the ones over there, maybe even something like the King's Palace. And one day I see myself becoming the king because that's just what I do. So today, uh, as, since I got all of this stuff done, like building the shelter, we've got the bed, we've got the storage, we got a campfire, and actually we don't have a working bench, which I want to put out right now. I don't know why, but it disappeared into my inventory last night, so I'm just going to put this right here. Now, I did find a secluded island over here, way far away from the king's village. So this should be good for now, because there are a lot of people over there by the king's village. And I've got a few basic weapons, I've got a... Uh, few basic pieces of armor. I know it's very noob armor, but right now we're going to have to fo focus on making a smeltery. We're going to have to fo focus on um, a lot of different things trying to get started, but there are only three structures on this island that I know of last night. Um, I believe it was only this one. There's one on the other side, but the other one, the one on the other side is actually pretty big, so it isn't really worth conquering. This one, however, was clearly built by a noob because this is just how I happen to jump in. Uh, I didn't really see anyone. I don't think they have anything here. As you can see, his chest is empty, and his door is still locked, but I managed to build up. I don't know why he didn't claim his territory, but... Oh, well. Wait a minute. There's a person over there. Looks like someone started building their house. Alright, let's see if we can do a peace deal, alright? Switch over to weapon number six. Oh, wait, no. Hold on. Let's just switch over to five. Okay, I don't know if uh, he's got this place going. I didn't actually see this yesterday, so I'm guessing this is new. This definitely is new. Maybe I just didn't explore this far. I don't know. Hello? Alright, he's swimming away. I don't know if this is the guy that owned the place. Let's see if we can break in. Hmm. Interesting. He's got a pretty solid house going. It's a little bit better than mine, but I'm going to have to work on that. Let's see if he left anything in his chat. Crafting table. I wonder if he even saw me, did he? He's got 100 arrows, we can take those. Alright, so we're down to looting already. Let's see what he's got over here. He's got a few chests in there. Alright, let's break in. Do we have any TNT? No, it's a shame we don't have any. I don't think you can have them, but there's a lot of things in this game that would be useful, such as boats, uh, TNT, Maybe even some more iron armor, like upgraded. You know what I mean? Because this is very basic right now. I think this is um, this is still like in an alpha version. So there's definitely going to be a lot more things that are going to be made. But hey, at least we got some arrows. Um, but as of right now, got a little bit of lag there. As of right now, the game is still really new so there are a bunch of uh, things that are missing that I guess will be added in the future but I mean so far it is pretty good with handling bugs and stuff I didn't really notice too many but I'm sure there are some uh, I mean there are a few parts where like animals glitch into the side of the mountain when you uh, kill them or anything but most of the time it's actually pretty good so I wouldn't complain about that either and uh, we got the charcoal from here oh hey you left the chest over there well he's got nothing so I assume this is a thatch. Yeah, this is a thatch structure. All right, he's got nothing here. Well, he's got a pieces of he a few pieces of wood. He's got some charcoal, which I'll gladly take. What is this? Nothing. It's a tinker. And that's also a tinker. So this is his crafting table. This must be his workbench. He's also got nothing here. Fletcher. All right, that's that's used to make arrows and bows, I guess. Pretty sure. Oh yeah, you're right. You can make um, hay bale targets, archery targets. Hmm, that's pretty cool. I guess we can go ahead and build that eventually. Throwing stone. What kind of tool should we make, guys? I guess we could make a whip. Well, we need a little bit of leather hide, so we should definitely go ahead and make ourselves a whip. We can be Indiana Jones. Wait a minute. Okay, so this is the old house. And, uh... Okay, yeah. 
All right, so that's his house. This is the guy who built it yesterday, and then mine's over there on the other side. We're definitely gonna have to fortify this. We don't want just a house. We need something bigger. We need something epic. We need a fortress. I mean, this is this is Reign of Kings. You know, we gotta show our power and build ourselves an epic structure. Let's just get our combat axe out. By the way, I love this thing. This is this is pretty good for a basic weapon. All right, guys. So we are back to our structure, and it looks like I'm gonna have to eat something sooner or later. So. Let's just pull out some berries and eat those. They're actually really helpful because they not only satisfy my thirst, but they also satisfy hunger a bit. And they're pretty plentiful and easily located, so I don't have to worry about ever running out of them because I could just go back there. And actually, the trees do respawn every once in a while, so that is kind of helpful that I don't have to go and uh, scavenge for wood or stuff. But um, we also have some flax over here that I'll take. Thank you very much. Because flax is very useful when it comes to uh, making weapons and other things like that. Okay, what do we need? Leather. So I'm guessing it's probably in our house. It is in one of these chests, but I just don't know which one. Oh, there we go. Leather hide. Okay. So let's throw down this leather hide and let's go outside to our crafting table or our workbench. This is kind of like a real life Minecraft. That's why sometimes I get it confused with it. So we've got one whip coming up. All right, we got a whip. So let's just whip that out. Number six. Oh, this is pretty sick. I want to go use it on someone. Hmm. I wonder if there's like animals on this island. I don't think there is because we're kind of running low on hunger again. I've got a few pieces of meat from yesterday, but I guess we can go scavenging and uh, maybe even hunting. And we've got some wood that we're going to keep on us. Some arrows for our bow. We have a small banner rock just in case you know just in case for an emergency if we get captured or anything like that we can always break out of it and i mean i've pretty much gotten the gist of this game mostly i got all of this stuff done yesterday so that you guys don't have to watch me build the boring structure because it did take me about three hours to build that yeah it took me three hours to build that all because it is really hard to get resources just to get one pile of blocks i mean it is about um you need up i think 25 pieces of wood and that takes a lot of time to chop down and i think my structure has about like I mean, really, it probably only has about 150, but it might be even more. I don't really know. I didn't count. But as you can tell, ladies and gentlemen, this is why it takes a long time. It is a very difficult game when it comes to uh, gathering resources, and it takes a lot of resources to do stuff with. So, finally, we got ourselves a whip. We got ourselves a few basic weapons. We got some javelins, which we're probably going to have to make some more of. Hmm, as maybe, maybe as I mentioned that, I think I'm going to turn back and make some more javelins, because... We got a lot of wood, and that's what we make. That's what we use to make javelins. We only have five, but it is a pretty good weapon, especially when it comes to hunting. You can always throw them at anyone who uh, attacks you. All right, let's see if we can swim faster. If we like, if we bob like this. If we bob, we do the bob. Indiana Jones. I wish there was a faster way to run, but unfortunately, there is not. Hmm. I guess we can switch over to our javelin just in case we we encounter anyone here. If anything, we have our spawn set, so we don't have to worry about spawning on a random beach. All right, so we're back at this noob's house. I don't think he's been on because I did I did see him here before, but nope, he's not there anymore. So he still has to respawn as soon as he logs on, but I don't think he is. And uh, the nice thing about this server is I'm going to be playing on this server because there is no reset so I mean some servers that I've been on they have a reset every three hours which is just outrageous so who would actually really play on those servers especially if it's only three hours and it takes about that that amount of time to build my structure I mean clearly this one took a lot, a lot longer than three hours if it was only one person building it but I don't know if uh, I don't know if there is more than one person probably not since he just went out there hunting or maybe he went to take over the king I don't know. Either way, he did go somewhere, so let's just loot his camp while he's still away. Hmm, this is interesting. Never seen this one before. Alright, nothing here. But we can use this crafting table, or I'm sorry, the workbench, to craft ourselves a few more javelins, because we're pretty much out of them. Alright, javelins, let's go. Let's throw in a bunch of javelins. We have a 169 pieces of wood, so we can make 16 javelins. That's enough to slay a bear. 15, 18. No, actually, we can make more because it. Oh, it crafts in batches of three. 
So we're definitely going to have a lot more javelins. This should actually give us about like 50. 48. Oh, no, 48. Okay. So it gives us 48 close enough. Oh, wait. No, no, no. We have 50 now. We have 50. So in fact, I was right. We now have 50 javelins. We've got a whip. We've got a combat axe. And we're ready to battle, I guess. I mean, probably not, because there's a person with iron armor on the other side. And he does have a lot of useful stuff, but I'm not going to go there right now. Instead, we can focus on crossing here. I believe this is the faster way to swim, but I'm not sure. Alright, so what should we go hunting for first? I think we should probably go maybe... I guess do some PvP and then we can go ahead and uh, try out our hunting skills on maybe a bear or something bigger because I've, I've been hunting rabbits yesterday and it is pretty boring we want to accept a challenge I did see some kind of strange dinosaur looking creature over there so I guess we can go challenge him it is really interesting this game has quite a few things like um, so NPCs that kind of look they remind me a lot of the flood from um, Halo but I'm not really sure what those things are to be honest so I guess we can go challenge one of them. They were in the open pasture over there. And it looks like I saw someone here. Or was that a rock? Hmm, interesting. We better take some cover. All right, let's collect this resource. Let's take this. We can have some of those. Fun. All right, we got 24 berries. Perfect. More berries! More! Give me the berries! 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 Hello. There we go. Thank you. Oh, looks like we got our first challenger. We got our first challenger. Oh, we got two. Bear or the deer? Bear or the deer? Oh. Come on! Come on then! Come on! Oh, it's a wolf! It's a wolf! It's not a bear. It's a very odd looking bear then. There we go. Come on! Oh, he's running. Let's switch over to number one, which is my bow. You want some? I'll give you some. Let's go! Are we running now? Oh, oh, oh. Hey, he's dead. I think. All right, let's see what we got from this guy. Oh, I don't want that. I want the axe. Ah, uh, it's pretty disgusting. You, 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 you. Hey, we got one meat, two meat. We got fangs. Oh yes, we needed fangs. I think that's from um, what we used to make one of the amulets or something like that. Twenty-seven fangs. We definitely need some of those. So let's go hunting for some more animals. It is a very awesome survival game. All right, let's pick this javelin up. Hello, set pick up. There we go. Oh, there's a nut. No, I'm not even gonna waste my time with that. We still have 39, so we can always just go ahead and cut down some more trees. And I see that we do have a structure over here, a very peculiar structure, one that's pretty fortified. Hmm, interesting. I'm probably gonna have to go mining for some uh, stone and make something like this. I was thinking of making a fortress kind of a style with a thick wall. I don't think anyone's here, so let's just quickly loot the place and leave. Nope, nothing. Don't see anything there. No. Oh, hey, water. You can always use that for something. Sounds like something's on fire inside, isn't it? Hello? House is on fire. Oh, that's not too safe. Oh, see, something like that. It looks like an amulet, or not an amulet, but there's a, there's a word for that. Basically, what I want to do is build one of those things. I'm pretty sure you need fangs for that. Let's see, nothing on the fire. I don't want to do that. Conquered. Hmm, they have a pretty interesting setup, but they still need a bit of work on this place, don't they? Is there a way in? Oh yeah, door's right here. What is fortified, so, and locked. Well, we're not making our way in there, so we can just forget about that for now. 
Let's just hop over that. And let's continue onward. So we're in the swamp right now. And this is where I last saw this weird dinosaur kind of creature, so... I don't know what that was, but I definitely want to fight it. And since we're pretty much adequately prepared with all the javelins, the axes, the arrows, and the whip... Oh yeah, I forgot, we gotta use a whip. I believe we are ready to conquer that thing. Hmm. I'm guessing it was someone's pet, because it was by someone's house, so... I'm not sure if you can tame animals in this game, but... That would be pretty awesome if you can. 